This week's temperatures in the Chippewa Valley are expected to top the 90s and stay there throughout the end of the week. These temperatures can not only be bad for your health, but for your wallet too. Excel Energy says there are things you can do to save energy and save a buck. So during those summer months, and especially this week, maybe consider setting the thermostat a little bit higher, about 78 degrees at home. It'll help cool your home more efficient, uh, efficiently. Another thing to consider, again, very simple things, is open your interior doors and keep that air flowing throughout the entire home. It really helps circulate that cool air, especially if you're running your, you know, your air conditioning units. Uh, if you have fans, use them to your advantage as well. The excessive heat can also be dangerous. Health experts say it's important to stay hydrated and in the shade to keep yourself out of the ER. They say it's also important to keep an eye on your loved ones. As with most things in medicine, the very young and the very old are more susceptible to environmental exposures. So we have to be careful with the little ones, small babies to young kids. and. The elderly populations are also very more sensitive to these uh, these type of exposures to heat. During heat waves in the summer, Sacred Heart Hospital says the ER has lots of patients coming in involving problems from the heat. But when do we know when we need to seek medical attention? The, the time that you would want to contact emergency services or consider coming to the emergency room would be any time that after heat exposure you're not having a normal mental status or having any sort of seizure activity or completely unresponsive should of course prompt immediate call to 911 or coming to the ER.